The next slide really describes a fundamental profound difference. Many of you have heard about consumer-driven healthcare. That may be a term that you're familiar with. High deductible plans. That is not what I want to talk about today. I want to contrast very specifically healthcare consumerism with consumer-driven healthcare, the common term that's used out there for many of the new products that are available, and put the consumer-driven healthcare in context with uh, the other changes that are going on. But the fundamental change is happening is a supply control system versus a demand control system. We've been under a supply control system. We've decided in the past that the demand for health care is unlimited. So as a result, we're going to control the cost of care by controlling the supply of care. It's not medically necessary. It's not appropriate. It's not covered. It's excluded. Uh, you don't really need that care. You're not sick enough to access that particular service. That's the world we've been under. Many call that managed care or sort of the classic uh, health maintenance organization type of structure. Somebody else is making the decisions as to what you need, when you need it, and how you're going to get served. And for many in the population, they're perfectly willing to have somebody else make those decisions. But the transformation, the fundamental difference of what's happening out there in the real world is we're moving to a consumerism world. We're moving to a consumerism world throughout our economy. We're having people want more choices. The iPod world, the internet world, the YouTube world, Wikipedia, all these things are happening to get people involved individually in their own decision making and establishing the criteria for their own life activities. Well, consumerism is about that same concept. It's part of that same megatrend, if you will, where now we're going to take what is considered uncontrolled in the old world, the demand for care, and we're actually going to build a system around controlling demand. Well, how do you control demand? Well, how do you control demand in the other part of our life? You have to empower people with information and empower them financially. Having a third party reimburse all of the expenses distorts normal economic decision making and relationships between a patient and a provider. The patient is not really the customer to the insurance company, it's the providers that are the customers and so the cu customer doesn't get the kinds of choices and input under the old system. But under this new system that's developing, it's really about empowering the individual and helping them to make behavioral changes that are beneficial to them.